Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a reading for someone who took me up on my 1111 special because right now for $11.11, I'm doing personal readings. And these readings are about your work or career or finances or relationships, love, twin flame, soulmates. I do all kinds of readings. Find out more information below. Um, what you do is you email me and say you're interested in the reading and you PayPal me. $11.11 .11. and that's a third of what it would normally cost to speak with the psychic and I'm doing this because I'm trying to get more experience and also I am donating 100% of my proceeds to help women in the arts and I'm going to post a video really soon to explain that so um, I'm pretty excited I've raised a lot of money so far and I have some big plans and so I can't wait to share that with you guys um, this is a reading for someone who had questions about their career and also their, um, like how they could make more money. And they also wanted me to pull a card for their love life. So um, yeah, this is the reading. And if you clicked on this and it's not your personal reading, then stay tuned. I don't believe in coincidences. So maybe there's a reason you were led, uh, led to click on this. Um, you know, trust your gut. Not everything you hear is gonna resonate. Some things will, some things won't. You know, take what resonates with you. So let's get started here. Yeah, in your career, it's definitely been a journey. I see a storm in the past. I feel like you might've left a line of work for another type of work and now you're starting over. So it feels like you're starting over. Um, but I do see a flame that you've been tending to. Like this is really sticking out to me, this, this flame that's being tended to. Like, you have kept going despite a lot of odds in your career. I feel like you were trying to start some type of business and it's been a journey. Um, perhaps you've been investing and you haven't had a return on that, that investment yet. Perhaps, um, yeah, I'm definitely getting a strong message on that. Like you really want to see a return in your investment in your in this industry. Um, it is a huge time of rebirth for you and because of that you are in solitude right now So that is probably why it feels like nothing is moving forward is because that's where you're at in this journey. Remember You know in nature there's times where certain plants lie dormant and then in the spring When it rains more they come alive. So I, I feel like you are kind of going through a type of a drought You're going through a personal drought and that's okay um, it's because you know, everything isn't going off like fireworks around you right now because that's not where you're at in the path and that wouldn't serve you right now. Right now you need to be inside your cave and you need to heal because of this rebirth. And so there's actually going to be a lot that's going to come out of this rebirth period in your life. So look forward to it and enjoy your downtime and, you know, be very gentle and nurturing with yourself and with your body as you go through this. And don't push too hard because if you, if you keep pushing hard with your career, um, it doesn't look good. It looks like if you push too hard right now, it's not going to be best for you because you're going through a lot of changes and any energy that you put out might not be as effective. So you want to wait until you're in a better place. And so definitely with your career, they're saying rest is needed. And so um, on the other side of this rest period and this time of solitude is a time of abundance. So there is a promise of a future of abundance. There is a promise of um, some of the work and the actions that you put out there being completed. So perhaps you have some projects going on right now and you've been working towards their completion and they there is some success and i think that those projects are going to lead to your promotion they're going to lead to you being able to get to the next level in your career and in your industry so um you know there is abundance so i feel like the universe is really leveling with you it's saying you can't really know all the answers right now um this period is does have a purpose um, it's just hard to see why you're in the middle of it. So just focus on, you know, taking good care of yourself. Go with the flow. So there's a lot of water here. It's like making me really think about a message of just going with the natural flow and rhythm of your life. If nothing's moving forward right now, maybe it's not supposed to. If you've tried and you keep planting seeds and nothing's growing, then, you know, you got to check your soil, you know, go back and do some healing work and just rest and allow it to come to you. Make room for the abundance. A lot of times when we rest and we get into a really peaceful mode, um, 
that's when we start attracting our answers and that's when the things that we're trying to manifest are able to, to make their way to us. We put up blocks when we are in that fear and that chaos. If you're doing actions out of fear, um, it's not going to draw what you're looking for to you. So um, the solitude is all about you becoming more Zen and becoming more grounded and becoming more um, thoughtful and, and poised and you know, you truly are blossoming into the person that you have always dreamed that you would be. You're, you know, becoming and you're stepping into your full potential here. That's what, this is a huge turning point in your life. Um, and I also see in your career that there is some type of move in your future. And so I feel like you're going to be moving and perhaps this move is what's going to help draw in this abundance to you. You could be going somewhere else where the, the soil is more fertile for you and for your, the growth of your career. So I hope that helps. Um, this is how to, you know, generate more money. You're wondering, how can you make more money? Well, <laughs> it's pretty simple. These cards are saying that, you know, if you're feeling insecure about money and you don't feel worthy and you're feeling poor and you're feeling sucked into a lack mentality and you feel like you don't have enough, then you won't. And so what is needed here is to do inner healing. Um, they're not necessarily saying you have to go out and do anything on the outside world. Right now, to help generate more money, you can work on the inside. You can do some healings and heal your limiting thoughts and belief patterns related to money. Think about some of the judgments you have about money. Um, there's a lot of really great resources here on YouTube for that. Um, meditations to help rewire your brain and how you feel about money and get you into an abundance mindset. Start really focusing on gratitude in your life. Start looking around and, and, and making mental lists of things that you're thankful for. Wake up in the morning and make it your habit and your routine to think about what you're thankful for first thing when you wake up. Not all of the things you have to do and all the worries and stresses. Put a little bit more of this type of energy into money because if you think about it everything is energy so if you want more money you're going to have to change your energy related to money because obviously what you're doing right now isn't working so you got to get kind of meta here and get into your brain and really think about how you're treating your money and um, start spending your money on on things to help make yourself better like self-care and, um, you know, donate a little bit of money to a charity. Start, you know, doing things with your money that make you feel happy and proud and well taken care of. You know, don't spend all your money on junk food and on, you know, frivolous things that you don't need, especially if you're trying to grow your business right now. <laughs> um, you know, don't self-sabotage with your money. Um, use your money to build you up and to help, you know, it's energy. So, so use that energy to support you you know, be smart with how you're using that energy that you already have, and then you will be able to generate even more. Um, healing, healing work, healing, healing, healing. There's so much, <laughs> there's so many messages about healing coming through for everyone right now. I'm not surprised. It's just making me laugh. <laughs> so, um, this is your love life. You just, you kind of wanted to know what's going on overall because you're just like, what is happening here? Um, and I, I didn't really have any other details, which is good because I don't like too many details because sometimes it makes me biased when I'm reading. So I don't know anything, but based off this card, um, you know, I just feel like you're really exhausted and you're really tired. Um, you've been really overwhelmed and I'm picking that up in, in here and also here too from, you know, the reading about your career and your finances. I just feel like you're overwhelmed in all areas right now. And so... This, that's why you you know you're going through this time of solitude and so when you're in solitude you're not going to be it's going to be harder to attract love into your life it might not be the right time because if you were with someone then um, you might drag them down into that depression or in, you know they might you not might not be able to give them that full attention um, that they need um, you might not be able to be as loving of a partner as you'd like um, there's a lot of uh, it's harder to be grounded um and i'm not saying that in relationships everything has to be perfect but you don't want to enter into a relationship that way so i feel like right now you are healing though and because you're making way for love i feel like there is some type of 
um, preparation that's happening, like the cocoon, like I said. And I feel like once you get on the other side, it's gonna be, um, there is a promise here. This number four is just sticking out to me, like um, hard work and diligence is gonna sow these seeds and you're gonna be able to um, emerge on the other side and be able to you know, really blossom and attract that love, attract those relationships. Um, let me see if there's anything else here off this card for your love life. I do kind of feel like you might have gotten yourself into like a really unpleasant situation and you're having a hard time facing someone or um, some people in your life. Um, like you feel a little bit ashamed, but I feel like there's a message here that to trust yourself and and you know, if you need to walk away from a situation to walk away from it. Um, I also feel like maybe you're, you might be healing from a breakup or healing from some type of heartache. Um, I'm feeling like there is abundance coming through though for you. Ultimately, there is abundance coming through. So when it comes to relationships, you know, this might be what you're experiencing right now because you asked what's going on right now. But I do feel like an air of abundance and an air of um, celebration coming your way. And um, like I said, the hard work and the diligence, if you continue to heal yourself and it just seems like you're very focused on your career because obviously you contacted me and you could have asked anything, but you want to know what's going on with your career. And so obviously you're very focused right now. And so, you know, I think Spirit's asking you to devote equal time to yourself. The, the focus might not necessarily be on your career, it's on yourself because you are your career. If you aren't at an optimum, then you're, the energy you put into your career is gonna backfire. It's not gonna work out. You have to be in a good place to put that energy. So just keep going and, you know, allow this time to unfold, a lot of times the, the, the lesson in solitude is about surrendering and allowing. So surrender to the outcome, allow you know this healing work to take place naturally, allow yourself to go through any type of grieving process you might be going through, and um, really prepare because you know there, around the corner there is abundance, there is completion, you might be traveling or um, you know moving somewhere and um, I feel like you're the type of person that's actually gonna take this to heart and do this healing work. And I, I feel like you know exactly what I mean because healing is very personal to each person. For some people, healing means meditation. And for some people, it means going out in nature and, and, and whatever. For some people, healing means taking action and moving on. And it really just has to do with you and where you're at. So I feel like you're gonna take my advice on this and um, it's really gonna benefit you in all areas, your love life and your career and your finances. So if I could leave you with anything, it's take really good care of yourself right now, okay? You have to promise me that you'll take really good care of yourself and you won't stress out and you just allow this time to unfold. And please hit me up and let me know when that abundance comes through and when you complete those projects um, or, or when you end up moving for your work. I want to know if this ends up happening for you. I've gotten some really great feedback so far in my readings. So if anyone is out there who's watching this and you'd like a reading, you can contact me. My readings are 11 and 11, $11.11. 11 11 cents. A hundred percent of the proceeds go to help women in the arts. And, um, I'll get back to you right away and answer any question you have. So thanks guys. Peace out.